Hello and welcome to the Chakrity channel. I'm Alexis Saludos, founder of Chakrity and Tangible Intuition. And I've been inspired to create a mini series on what I term crown chakra deviation. Here is the first video. What is crown chakra deviation? So let's dive right in. Crown chakra deviation is connected to the crown chakra and the crown chakra is located above you and it is the energy center that houses your relationship to spirit. It is the energy center where you are able to access divine inspiration and receive guidance, be connected with your purpose and be in communication with your own spirit. So this really is the chakra that is connecting us with the ether, it's connecting us with our own divinity, and it's connecting us with creation, with creator, with source, with God. And this is a very essential part of your energy to nurture and to nourish. And when we are unaware of what is happening at this part of our energy, we can become vulnerable to opportunistic energies and various interferences. So let's begin our journey of crown chakra deviation by first diving into this concept of what it is. So this is a dynamic that I have observed over many years and began to put language to, to share the importance of this concept with others and to be able to communicate about it. So many of the energetics that we experience, we don't give language to and therefore have a challenging time discerning what it is that we are experiencing and being able to converse about what those experiences are and therefore have them validated or have them recognized or be able to, of course, recognize them within ourselves. Crown chakra deviation is something that happens when we are not in clear, direct communication at our own crown. When we start to deviate into an indirect relationship to another energy via our own ego. So instead of being upright, in alignment, and connected to source energy individually, we start to shift out and shift into something else. And this is where we can begin to connect to other energies, other entities, things that come through and may be, you may be in dialogue with, but they are not through your own direct sovereign connection to spirit. And that can compromise your energetic integrity when that is happening. So as a result of that, the, the origin of that energetic dynamic may come from something like insecurity or feeling unsafe, feeling something from the lower energy centers that then drives that indirect connection where the crown starts to shift off to the side is how I perceive it and how I'm able to communicate this dynamic in a way visually on a chart that instead of in alignment with your center throughout all of the energy centers to source energy, it starts to tilt off and starts to deviate from the center. And therefore, when it deviates, you become off center in yourself, your energy starts to get pulled in a different direction. And as you plug into another, another type of energy, another, it could be another entity, uh, through your ego, through your desire to know, through your desire to be an authority or an expert on something specific, this is where people who are in a position of power can often start to become off center and and get into a dynamic where their energy becomes more easily compromised. And once you are in that position where your energy is not 
in that direct relationship and connection to spirit and to your own spirit, then you are open to other opportunistic energies starting to infiltrate. So one way to work with this is to first practice observing this dynamic and practice connecting with have you ever felt this before? Have you ever sensed or been on the receiving end of what may have felt like a crown chakra deviation where somebody starts to pull in information that just doesn't feel quite right? And maybe it started in that direct alignment. Maybe it started from a place that felt like the origin of it was pure. It felt like the origin of it was divine guidance. It was a connection to that person's spirit where everything was, it, it felt right. It felt resonant, but then it started to shift. So this can happen a lot in the energy world when people start to shift into that place of ego where they're, they're getting information that's coming through and sharing it in the way of needing to be in a position of power, needing to be right, wanting to give advice, wanting to be in that position of authority. And the energy of it can really shift into being uncomfortable when you're on the receiving end. Like it just does not feel right and it doesn't resonate but it can be confusing if it resonated before. So take a moment and sit with this concept of crown chakra deviation and how it has potentially been something in your experience that you can connect to, or maybe it feels like something you haven't experienced, but can practice awareness around. So, I would love to hear from you if crown chakra deviation is something that you have been in the presence of, how you can articulate your experience and the dynamic itself, and anything else that you feel inspired to share around it. And I will look forward to moving into the next video in this crown chakra deviation series. As always, I hope that this information serves to empower you in your own sovereign direct connection to your spirit. And thank you for watching.